So the burn for me is a very special place. Um, I grew up not far from here in Galway, which is in that direction. Uh, the burn is so linked in many ways to uh, how we understand ourselves in this part of Ireland. Uh, it is a place that is often called a fertile rock. It's a limestone area, and yet it is a very fertile area. So the burn evokes for us something of our past, not just our past in terms of modern history or even medieval history, but our past in terms of where we have been in geological time. And this is something that we are beginning to understand about the way we see the world around us and the way we see our own story, that it is deeply, deeply embedded in a history that stretches not only for millennia, but goes back to the very dawn of creation itself. Not just at the dawn of time, because time was created, but back to that very first initial instant of creation. And here in the burn it's very, very clear that you can see this story all around you, in the rocks, in what's happening in the life forms, in the species, in the plants, it is around us. So for me, as a person of faith, coming to the Burren is not only, you know, communing with nature, like Thoreau, for example, or finding a place of solitude here. You can do that. It is a place of solitude. It is very calm here this morning. It is a place where you can find solitude, where you can find contemplation. But more than that, it is a place where we begin to to reflect on where our faith connects with science. Because to enter into this story is in fact to open a new doorway, and it is the doorway of science. Science and religion have been in conversation for a long time, but now science and religion are in conversation in a new way. And this new way is defined by what we call the new story our understanding of the universe, our understanding of where we have come from. And in this new story, we are beginning to see that so many of the theological concepts that have shaped our Christian story, our religious story, that these concepts are in radical need of revision. We can no longer see God as, you know, a kind of a super gardener tending his or her garden. But now we see God, the divine, within the process of what is happening around us. And this week here on the program with the Columban Institute, I have been very struck time and time again as we looked at various species, as we looked at what is going on in organisms, as we look at what happens and goes on in even the smallest particle and molecule. It is, for me, very, very striking that intelligence is in everything. It's not just in me. Intelligence and intelligent life of some kind or other is right across the whole of creation, the whole of God's creation. And that's a very profound insight to see that we are linked in a web of life, not just of raw life, not just of pulsating the dynamism of pulsating life, but linked in a web of intelligence, of consciousness, and of story that is so vast, so marvelous, so wonderful, and so profound that it absolutely stops us in our tracks. It makes me pause. It makes me want to explore this story further and further and further.